the great Norman Lear on December 5 at the age of 101. The television wizard has developed more than 100 programs during his eight-decade career in show business, many of which present a more idealistic vision for America it's all in the family. Sanford and Son. Maud. Good Times. The Jeffersons. One Day at a Time. Different Strokes. Lear's shows tackled important topics like racism, sexuality, misogyny, and abortion with brutal honesty, bringing important conversations into the cultural zeitgeist while remaining entertaining and funny. There will never be another Norman Lear. And on the day he, Rolling Stone spoke with Rob Reiner, who plays Michael Meathead Stivick. Archie Bunker's progressive son-in-law who constantly s with the bigoted patriarch about the aforementioned issues about Lear's television and political legacy. Reiner, an actor, filmmaker activist responsible for his own classics such as This Is Spinal Tap, The Princess Bride and When Harry Met Sally, considered Lear a second father spoke passionately about the television legend's political stance. Contributions include everything from fighting Nazis in World War II, founding people for American way, to combating political influence of Christian right, fighting Donald Trump. What was your reaction when you heard the news that Norman Lear had passed away? I see him all the time and I knew he wouldn't be with us for long. I had talked to his family the day before and a few days before. So it didn't surprise me but I really felt a great pain in my heart. I lost my father Carl Reiner a few years ago in 2020. And I lost Norman today. So the two most important men in my life are gone. Carl Reiner. Rob Reiner and Norman Lear in Hollywood. California on April 7, 2017. Michael Tran film Magic and he was working until the end. Even if he lost consciousness. I don't even know where it came from. But one of his kids was talking to him and said something like, Dad, you're going to get better. And he replied, Who do we write this to? The guy was a warrior and he was strong. The guy was in Nazi Germany during World War II. He flew 57 ing missions on it. He fought for this country and didn't take anyone's. He couldn't believe the idea of him staring us in the face again. Less than 80 years after defeating fascism. Where did the country he loved so much go? I hope we can get rid of Trump so we can preserve our democracy. World War II All these people in the Union worked so hard to defeat fascism. So the idea that we're going to fall into fascism in less than 80 years is incomprehensible. Everything he did was to fight for a more perfect Union. Norman and I have had these discussions hundreds of times. And he could not recognize the country he fought for. And he founded People for the American Way, an organization that takes on America's Christian right and its influence on the country's politics. We see that the Christian right is at the core of everything that happened on Yanuar.